Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and today we are playing with bulb pins and we're finding out how we can use these in many different ways in our journals. They're lots of fun to decorate. I sat down and started making a few and apparently I just can't stop because they're so much fun. But I wanted to give you some ideas on how you can decorate them and how you can use them. Okay, so here's an example. Here's one as a little dangle from a page tab. Isn't that cute? This, I, I hope, uh, Probably most of us have uh, little collections of beads and little tiny things that have, you know, been we've been hanging on to. Well, they're great to hang from bulb pins. If you use a page tab to extend your page out beyond your page out beyond, and you put a little eyelet in there, it'll dangle quite nicely. And hi, Holly, how you doing? All right, so let's show you some more examples. You can actually pin one right to a page. Isn't that cute? It gives a little bit of uh, width to the page, but or thickness to the page, but it's not too much when you use the small beads. And uh, quick and easy, and just gives the eye something to look at there. You can also hang something from any material that you have on a page. Uh, the bulb pin easily goes through any kind of fabric, as well as paper, so you can use it on fabric and paper. Here's another example just right through a page with an eyelet if you want to have a little dangle as such. Or you could even use an, uh, a jump ring here to have it pull out and hang straight down. You could do that as well. That would be a wonderful example. Um, and I think I have one more in here. Oh, here's the other side of it so you can see it on a page. Isn't that cute? It's just adorable, isn't it? Okay, uh, I've got one more. Okay, yep. Here, just pinned onto the top of a page. Uh, so you can pin these to pockets. You can pin these to pages fabric, paper, and use them as uh, dangles off uh, uh, page tabs as well. So now that we've seen how we can use them, let's take a look at a few of these guys. All right, let's go in close. Boom. And we're close. Okay, where am I? I'm here. Okay. So let me just show you some different examples. Uh, basically this one, this one. Okay, you want me to back out further? Maybe I'll just I'll just point to them. How about that? Okay, there's a good idea. This one is I've uh, got some made from bee, uh, buttons and beads, just all beads, buttons and beads. Uh, this is a jewel, piece of broken jewelry that I hung from here. So if you have any broken jewelry, that will come in handy. Some of these I have um, uh, made from different colored bee, uh, bulb pins. Uh, some are white. Uh, you can buy these in all different kinds of colors: white, black. Doo -doo. Yeah. 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 There we go. White, black, um, bronze, um, copper colors, all sorts of cool colors you can get these in. And um, here's some uh, other examples where I did uh, bead and material combinations. Very fun. Very different, si uh, different size beads, different patterns, uh, very tiny little pieces of material. It doesn't take much at all. Here is down here. Oops. Some, uh, you can also hang little strings off of them. And this one I put a little, uh, this is a uh, cheesecloth. Can you see that? Yeah, there we go. Cheesecloth. And I just tied that up and, and took it off. Let me uh, zoom out a bit. I think the, the focuser for up close is better this way. There we go. And uh, just hang some gold threads off one, just for fun. If you don't have a lot of beads or anything like that, Here's a buttons and material combination. It's for more of a rustic look. And you can also hang charms off of them. If you have any of those little metallic uh, charms, you can do charms and beads. How fun is that? My list little combo there. And I got here I've got charm, bead, and fabric combo. So a whole bunch of, uh, also, it's a great way to clean up your desk if you've got a lot of little tiny pieces. You just need to use them up. Okay, so I'm gonna go in close because I wanna show you one more way. It's, I thought this was kind of cool. These, whoops, let me just move that. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna take you in a little closer. Hang on, hang on, don't get too seasick. All right, guess what I put on these? Yes, you guessed it. I used liquid pearls and Nuvo drops. And uh, so you can actually go around and touch the, the bulb pin and create new little speckled designs on there as well. So let's make a bunch of these and just see, um, uh, just play with some of these and have some fun. Just gonna back you out a bit. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, sorry for the 
the seasickness there. Um, all right, now we're settled. Eagle has landed. Glasses are on. I think I have everything in front of me. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay, so I have a tiny pile of uh, very tiny pieces of fabric. I have a pile of buttons here, uh, and I have a pile of charms, and I have some some Nouveau drops here as well. I've got a whole bunch under the table here, but I'll just put them there so you can see them. Okay, so let's grab one and make something. All right, so first of all, I think I'm gonna make uh, one with some beads. So I'm just gonna grab one. This is a white one. And I think I'm gonna take some darker colored beads for this one. Let me just grab these two. And these beads are about this size. They're not the super tiny ones. Some of the, sometimes the super tiny ones are too small to get on here. Actually, I should show you an example of what works. Let's just do an all bead one. And I'll show you which ones fit easily and which ones don't fit so easily. So the big ones seem to fit no problem. Okay, Oop, let me just move that. All right, now I've got these tinier ones. See this size, this size? Okay, these seem to fit no problem. Okay, that one went on very easily. But then when I went for super tiny, these are like extra super tiny. I don't know the exact whole size, but um, oh, no, nope, that, now that one worked. Okay, I was going to say that one didn't work before. Um, so sometimes it just depends on what, some of these are white and some of these are, all right, let me see if they all fit. I'll do the test. Oh, we're having, okay, now that one won't go. So some of the really tiny ones will get stuck. So it's just kind of a, it's a, it's a, you know, sometimes you get lucky and sometimes not. So I would go for more of the medium size ones uh, or the uh, next, okay, I'll put them up close here if you can see them. See the, the pink one and the brown one, I haven't had any problems with. The white ones are so small, I did have about 50% of problems with those. So put that there, I'm just gonna call that done. And that's pretty easy, right? And they're, they're just as cute as buttons. You know, they're, they're almost like buttons. Okay, so there's one. And you can just sit down and, and knock out a bunch of these. They're really, really fun. Okay, so let, now let's do one with some material. Okay, uh, here's my little pile of material. All right, and maybe, I, maybe I'll do bead and material. How about that? Okay, so let's see, we've got, what have we got here? Let's put some beads down. Okay, white beads, cream beads will work. Okay, I'm gonna put a cream bead. And then let's see what would look neat with this. Maybe, maybe some of this fuzzy stuff. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay, um, this is just like a little piece of string that I cut off of something. Then I'm gonna put another bead, Whoop. a white one this time. And I'm gonna make a, a neutral colored thing this time. Sort of neutral colored. I'm gonna grab this little piece, stick him on, and put another bead. And I'm gonna call that a day. Boy, that was a that was a tough piece of work there. Huh, let me tell you. Okay, so now this guy, he kind of looks like this. All right, so it's just a little accent, just a little something cute to add to the pile and um, very fun to make. Um, let's make, uh, let's see. Oh, maybe we can find a, a jewelry thing to hang off it. Let me go crump around for a second and find something, hold on. Okay, I found this little odd piece of broken jewelry in my box of broken jewelry. And I get my boxes of broken jewelry from eBay, but you can get broken jewelry anywhere. But it's very inexpensive to buy it by the pound on eBay. Uh, if you've never explored that, um, I would check it out just to see what you think because uh, you can buy like one pound, two pound, five pounds, 10 pounds, 25 pounds for not very much and you get a lot. <laughs> okay, so there, I just have this little guy dangling there. Now I could put some more beads with him. Maybe he would like a little more of a, a collar or a neck and we can do that. Let's see, I've got some of these guys here. Just grab a couple of these. Whoop. I've got my suit, oh, one big recommendation. Head off to your local Dollar Tree and get these super strong, yes, these are purple, super, super strong um, glasses because uh, this is some up close work, or at least it is for me. Um, and uh, it really helps to have some good glasses. Right, let me just grab another one of those, put it over there on the, whoop, I already hung it. Okay, okay, well, maybe we'll do two. All right, let's try that. And we're hanging. There we go. And we need a couple more of those. Go in there and get it. Nope. Nope. Oh, I got one on there. Look at that. That was purely by luck. Okay, there we go. And just closing it up. And there we go.
It's almost like a little mini necklace. Isn't that cute? It's just so cute. So you've got a little dangle there. All right. Now, what are we going to try? Next, we are going to try hanging some charms. So let's do that. Okay, let's try, uh, we've got silver charms, so let's try a silver one. And you can take a silver charm and just purely hang the silver charm from it. It gives a nice dangle, okay? And that is very nice, but you can also add some beads or you can add some fabric to it, whatever you like. Let's try fabric this time. Um, maybe I'll try some really teeny tiny pieces of this uh, organza fabric. I think it was actually cut from ribbon. Okay, got to find my guy again. Here he is. And since um, uh, dragonflies, that's a dragonfly? Yeah, that uh, dragonflies are kind of wispy. I'm going to give him some wispy organza just to have with him. Or it could be a her. It could be a her. Um, all right, here's another little piece. You want to come? All right. There's a tiny piece. That's what you need. You need the real tiny pieces. And this is just, you know, optional. I'm just playing here. I'm just having fun. I'm having fun playing with the little stuff today. Sometimes you got to play with the little stuff in between all the big stuff to balance things out. I think it balances your right and left brain. There. So just a little fuzzy with some uh, dragonfly. And um, so there's another example. Let's put you there. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. And now... Um, we've done that one. Okay, so now I want to show you how to do the little dots. And this is really nothing more than putting on the little dots. I haven't tried a stickles one. Let's try that. I'll try light blue and a gold. Okay, so let's try. Let's see what. Let's see what gold looks like on a black one. Now I'm going to take you in. Doop. Okay, this is the one I'm working on. Okay, so you can see that. Bring it right in. Oh, look at that. You got a bird's eye view. Okay, now hopefully this will work. Okay, yep. So I'm going to hold it up here so maybe you can even see it better. But basically, can you see? I'm just, I'm, I got a little bit of a glue, uh, colored do dollop hanging off the edge, and I'm just going around and I'm touching it. Just touching it, see? And it really only grabs where the metal is. And uh, so you're not actually laying a drop down this time. You're just barely touching it. And I'm going to put it down for the big finale here. I'm just going to go and put some on the head of it. I guess that's the head. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So he's all dressed up, dressed to the nines, ready to go places, see things. Okay, so let's try a white one. And then let's try some stickles. This is, what is this? This is, oh, what's that say? Uh, Cayman. That says Cayman. Cayman colored stickles. Okay, let's see. I haven't used this one in a while. Let's see if it comes out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's ready. Just little touches. Oh, I think it's going to show. So cute. You know, it's just that little extra something. Um, totally, you know, choice if this is your style, but it's very fun if you like a little bling. Get on there. And uh, yeah, it seems to go better if you don't touch the metal yourself, but just let the stickles touch it and then pull away. I haven't done one with the stickles yet, so. All right, there we go. Okay, we've got one big one. I'll just move you over there. There, you're not on there now. Let's put a little dot. Okay, there we go. So that's all stickled up. Oops. Okay. And who else have we got here? We have, well, we could put some pink on a black one. That might be pretty. Let's try this color. What is this? This is Nouveau Drops in color raspberry pink. Okay, here we go. Now this one has a little bit bigger drop. Oh, okay. Don't squeeze out too much, Pam. Okay, just let, there's a drop hanging, so you don't need to continually squeeze because there's enough in that one drop to do the entire thing. Well, maybe you have to squeeze it a little. Okay, it seemed like it was, but it might take two drops to complete the mission. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty easy to do. I mean, I really need my glasses to do this, but uh, you may not, and I think the finished product is, is just kind of cute. It's just something a little different to catch your eye that can be fun to use in your journals.
Okay, now I've got this weird little threaded thing that broke off of some piece of jewelry. Um, but I think I'm going to use some of this to hang from one of the bulb pins. I'm just going to cut some of these strings off and use them. All right, let's see how this one goes. Let's put this one on a black one. This one's going to be more like a, a little like farm theme hoedown sort of one with some straw string. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to tie one knot in it because I think that's enough because these aren't going to really take a lot of pulling or yanking. And I'm just going to do, oh, yep, I see what I'm doing here. There we go. So I've got some strings hanging from it. There's my base. And I can, oh, oh, I need to back up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Um, now let's just see what else we have over here. Okay, I have this little like, mish mishmash of something that, uh, you know, had seen better days, but maybe I can I can put this on there. Let's see. Let me just figure on this for a second. Okay, so this is the trim off of something. Where'd that go? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think I'm going to... These are like individual little clumpies, and that might... They're almost like little Santa beards. Is that ever cute, huh? These little individual Santa beards. Um, I could use... I should save those for Christmas. Oh, well. Yeah, it's too far away. Okay, let's use our stuff. Use it up. There's always more stuff. Don't worry, right? Okay, there we go. And I am just going to hang this right on there. Now, you could just leave this one alone as is, which looks fine. Oops, sorry. I'm migrating. And... Yeah, I'm just hanging that on there. That looks kind of cute, huh? Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's very cute. I think that's just adorable. Okay, um, so there's that one as an example. That's uh, the cowboy with Santa beard. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and, um, oh, this one I wanted to show you. This is the cheesecloth one. So I had some coffee dyed cheesecloth here, which I just uh, took a bunch of cheesecloth and I soaked it in a coffee mug with some coffee and uh, makes a nice dye. Very fast, very quick, very easy. I'm going to roll it just so it doesn't come apart, come up, uh, come apart on itself. And I think I will grab this uh, brassy bronzy color now and I'm just going to tie this on there. I think I, I think I like these, these little natural... I think they would be good in nature journals. Again, this looks like something a bird would make a nest out of for me. Or maybe an old vintage journal, like a piece of old material or something like that hanging from it actually looks just kind of cool. Um, all right, so I'm going to put you down. All right, and let's see what else we have. Okay, I found another one here. I just wanted to demonstrate for you another quick and easy idea, but this is one continuous piece of material just uh, zigzagged back and forth onto the pin. So let's do one of those. It's a great way to use up some scraps. So I had some leftover eco dyed paper here. It was the edge of the um, those tea towels that I get from Walmart, the flower sack ones, and they're white cotton to begin with. So let me just take a chunk of this off. Don't think we're going to need more than that, maybe. We'll see. We'll use a white one. Okay. Yep. Okay. And... Okay, so I'm going to just weave it on here. Weave back and forth. And... Weave. Okay, maybe you're a little long. We don't need all of you. So we can trim you. Okay, and let's reorient everybody so they're all going in the right direction. Can you see what I'm doing? Sorry. I know it's very close up here. Um, okay, so there's a little woven one on there. Now you could, you could put more on there and get like three. I think this one I had three. I think that looks like a three-er compared to a two-er. So a couple other options for you. Lots of different things you can do with these. All right, here's another little example of a woven uh, one using lace. And I thought that one came out sort of pretty. So let's make that one together. All right, so I just grabbed a piece of this, had this lying around, and I grabbed one of these bronzy brass ones, and I opened it up, and with my super duper readers, I started to thread it, and this is what I did. Let me see if you can see that. Yeah, okay. And actually, let's go this way, this way. Can you see? This way. This way, this way, this way, this way. 
and this way. Okay, that was quite a few. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, squash them on there. I think it's going to look kind of cute. Oops, stay in the frame, Pam. You're floating. I can tell you, I can see it. I can hear you. Stay in the frame. Okay, so um, you just want to kind of squash it all down into the center, and I put a lot in here, so I just wanted to see how much we could do. But actually, that looks kind of cute. Look how cute that came out. So that can be pinned on anywhere you like. They almost look like little dresses or little skirts. Aren't they, aren't they adorable? Um, okay, so there's some other options. Let me let, move my buttons over. Put these here. Oh, can't see anything over there. Um, back up just a little bit so you can see. Okay, so now you can get the lay of the land. All right. Okay, this one I made from a little, let me show you, a torn piece of laundered uh, bedding. That has, uh, yep, this has been coffee dyed too, or avocado dyed, not sure, I think avocado dyed. See that? And I thought that was kind of cute. And I'm going to try this this one, but I'm also going to add a bead or two to it, just to see, to see what that looks like. So we can have something new to look at. All right. Okay, I've got some of these gold beads, and I think they're going to be plenty big enough. Whoops. These things are tiny, and they go flying places, so be prepared. That's why the glasses are good. Okay, got one gold bead on. We have a little string of material here, just cotton. And okay, I'm gonna get the first one started. Be careful not to stab yourself. Back and forth here. Yeah, this was avocado dyed. I just had some extra at the end, and sometimes I like to take a uh, tea towel and or a piece of uh, bed sheet or something. And after I'm done avocado dyeing, I will wipe up the trays with with, with a little bit of residual um, juice there I'm working with. Um, and just uh, then you get to use the tea towel or the sheets uh, because they're colored as well. Okay, let's see how we're doing there. One more. Okay. I'll just try not to stick my finger. Okay, okay, got it. <laughs> okay, we got that one. And then I'm going to put one more gold one here to close it off. So I think that looks kind of cute. Squashing it all together. When would we get? What did we get? What oh, is kind of cute? Look at it. Yep. So it gives it a little bit of a, a finishing onto it, which I think looks just adorable. So that would be that little guy. And uh, so you can get a lot of different looks here depending on what you put on them. Um, and there's just so many fun things that you can play with. Now I'm going to make just what I call the random one. And the random one is going to help me clean up my desk. So I have, I have a white bead, which I'll start with on this bronzy one. I'm going to put some, this looks just like some string or something hanging around. Got a little piece, a couple pieces of material here. Get those on. Without stabbing myself. All right. Am I in shot? Yep, okay. And got that guy on. Whoop, shredded him. It's okay. I'll go back and do him again. All right. Maybe I'll put a, maybe I'll put a gold bead on now because he's sitting right here. He might be too small, but he might want to play. Whoop. He's a slippery little devil. Come back here. All right, I've got you. It's like catching a fish or something, you know? I get away, but then you get him on the second round. Um, all right, we'll put a piece of pink on there. Why not? It's very colorful. A little pizzazz in the middle. Maybe another little gold bead. This is called desk cleanup time. Whoop, we lost that completely. That's all right. Uh, maybe we'll stick you on there. Okay, try it. Okay, got something long. That's kind of cute. Oh, a little piece of fabric. Organza fabric. And this will be the eclectic one. A little piece of gray uh, eco-dyed fabric. And maybe we need another big bead. Let me get one. Let's see. Okay, there's a white one. I think I started with a white one. There we go. All right, so it's kind of a little eclectic uh, mishmash, but I think it will uh, do its job very well in some special spot. It will give that little piece of color or that little extra pizzazz when it is needed. Okay, so as you can see, you can make these very quickly. They pile up fast and you're gonna have them at the ready anytime you wanna use them. And uh, so uh, these are there. Let's see, some of these probably are dry. Let me, probably not. Oh, oh, oh yeah, they're okay. Okay, so these have already dried. So you can see what these look like now. And um, so um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you found value here, please like, subscribe, and share. And uh, yeah, that one's dry. <laughs> Never know with these. I think the stickles one is still wet. That always takes the longest to dry. And um, a lot of fun ways you can use these 
in your journals. And um, if you'd like to come and join us on the Facebook group, please do, or check out the regular Facebook page for the Paper Outpost. On the, in the group, we do weekly and monthly challenges, and you're welcome to come and check it out. It's free to join, and it's a very fun, fun and friendly and supportive group. And um, uh, we really stay focused on crafting, and uh, you're more than welcome just to lurk and, and or ask questions. Uh, the, everybody is so helpful when it comes to asking questions, because we all have questions. And uh, uh, my videos are going to come out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday here on YouTube and my podcasts. If you like to listen, um, I, I have podcasts on uh, junk journal related topics, uh, new material that you can find on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or um, uh, Google Podcast, and uh, you, or you, if you like to listen to it on your computer or your a tablet or your phone, you can go to anchor.fm and look for the paper outpost and you will find it there. I also have all these links below uh, in the description drop down box below my video here on YouTube. And um, if you're looking for that drop down box on your phone, look right below the video picture on the right. There's going to be a tiny little arrow. I think it's a gold arrow. At least it is on my, my Android phone. And you click on that and then you get the drop down menu of all the stuff below the videos. And um, all the links to favorite tools and supplies are linked below. I have opened up a an Amazon store. So if you want to check that out, all the links below are going to be also in my Amazon store where you just click it once and you can see everything with pictures all at the same time. It's just um, easier to see. Plus I can put a lot more things in there, but I am keeping my original list down below. So you have it for reference in case anybody was looking for something specific. Um, what else? Oh, my note from the bookmaker is also down in the description box. If you want to use that, you're more than welcome to. And, um, uh, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook, Facebook group, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, YouTube, and TikTok. And I'm working on a blog, so that's coming too. So um, stay tuned for that. These were a lot of fun. I hope you join me in making some. Um, I think I'm going to try and add bulb pins to the Amazon store if you're looking for them, but you can get these pretty much anywhere. I'm sure um, the Hobby Lobbies and the uh, Joann's and um, Michael's probably carry these as well as eBay and um, AliExpress, I would imagine carries them too. But uh, I'm gonna put them in case uh, in the store in case you can't find them. Um, so there you go. Happy crafting everybody. M remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon. Take care everybody till next time. Bye.